Well, have you ever thought if only poor performing government ministers could be held to account? And Liz, maybe there's hope. Argentina got to watch as President Javier Malay fired Labor Secretary Omar Yassin live on air over a debacle about the president and his cabinet's pay rises. Apparently, a 48% pay rise was triggered by a decree signed by the former president, and Malay has rolled it all back, firing the minister that he says is responsible for this. The president says, no, while the people suffer, we will suffer, and now you're out of a job, buddy. Pero no solo eso, además al secretario de trabajo, digamos, lo he despedido. ¿Cuándo lo despidió? En este momento lo están notificando. ¿A Yacín? Al secretario de trabajo. Digamos, por este error. Este es este, un, este, un error que no debería haber cometido. Mm. Porque además, esto fue aclarado en el mes de enero, donde el consenso de todos los ministros era que nosotros tenemos que quedar con los sueldos congelados. Love it. And it's not just in Canada where conservatives are starting to take control. Sorry, in Argentina. Check out the leader of the conservative movement in Canada. He promises if he's elected, no more World Economic Forum and no more digital currency. We will ban all of our ministers and members of parliament from any involvement in the World Economic Forum. There will be no mandatory digital ID, no central bank digital currency. We'll ban the IRGC terrorists to protect our people. We're going to give people back control of their lives. Make him prime minister.